Everybody say faith. Say obedience. Very important. He preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Why? Not being mixed. Means two people can come to all shout hallelujah. And they will go back and return with two kinds of results. And the Bible is saying it is not the deficiency of the quality of what was preached. But that everything you hear must be mixed with faith to profit. That means everything you hear should profit. Wow. Whatever profits can also bring losses. Depending on what you mixed with or otherwise. The word they heard did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Actions of obedience. Tended for high level spiritual illumination. To understand the promises of God and to understand the principles, the modus operandi of the kingdom. And then there are those who have paid the price to learn. They are aware. They are not in ignorance. But they have not yet found the place of personal responsibility. Working in partnership with God to manifest supernatural possibilities. I know people who are excellent teachers. But they are far from proof producers. It is dangerous to know what should be and yet your life cannot capture it. You will be more frustrated than the person who is in ignorance. Because for you, the problem is not ignorance. The problem is lack of completion. You have not completed that equation. The conditions. And then number three, obedience. You must obtain grace to obey. You must obtain grace to obey. I give you an instance. There are many greedy and stingy believers who are wondering why they are poor. Why should you wonder why you are poor? Hallelujah. It's like not taking your bath for one week and you are surprised that your body is smelling. Why should you be surprised? Are we together now? It's like not eating for three days and being surprised that you are hungry. Or it's like eating, overfeeding and being surprised that you are too full. No. Some things naturally lead to certain consequences. And there are those, for instance, who give, but they are not diligent. They have not found out the other principles that are connected for lasting wealth. So they give and by the integrity of God's word, testimonies come, but it vanishes because they have not learned how to replenish. Being fruitful is a level until you know how to reap. This already is a revelation for someone. You see, let me tell you this. Half truth can destroy, sometimes it can cause a greater catastrophe than even error or ignorance. Half truth, one of Satan's most effective weapons. Once he finds out you are so passionate about God, he can no longer bring error, so he will bring half-truth. Truth that is not complete. Are we together? Obedience. Obedience to his divine instructions. Obedience to what he has said to do. The Bible says, let every man give as he has purposed in his heart. I'm using that as an example. Not grudgingly, nor of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. For instance, there are those who do not even see the first level of wealth and prosperity. You know why? You are earning 500,001 million. I'm, I, I don't mean to challenge you, but I have to tell you the truth. You come to church when it's offering time or giving time. You check your wallet. You bring out 500, you push it back. You bring out 200, you push it back. You bring out 100 naira, the new one, you push it back. Then you bring out the old one and just drop it quickly. And immediately after service, you are going straight to a restaurant. You will burn 20,000 at a moment. And God is watching. He's watching because where your treasure is, that is where your heart is also. Listen, I know that people have abused these things, but I have to teach you the truth. Don't just say, why is the heaven open unusually over certain people? Find out what they are doing. 
Are we together? Yes. There are people who are praying and holding on to the horns of the altar, designing their future in the place of prayer, and there are others wishing and hoping, and then they look and say, life is not fair. Why are things just happening for this man of God and doors opening? Do you know the times that are invested in prayer, commanding your morning, redesigning things by the power of the Spirit, is a risk to enter a day you did not command? No. God makes the day, but you rearrange it by faith to line up with what he said that day should be. Don't assume that just because he made the day, it will be nice. Do you not read that while men slept, Satan will also come and plant something that was not planted by the original farmer so he planted favor and peace and lifting and speed but because you were asleep satan came quickly and planted other things he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint hallelujah principles of favor for instance you are wondering why you were you were retrieved from work alongside your colleague in two weeks he's gotten another job and within that two weeks he was even richer and more comfortable because you have not learned the dynamics of living in the kingdom for you the only thing you believe that controls greatness is money and this person has placed value on relationships so when there is no job the relationship can be his stream of income supplementing him before another comes Please damage ignorance from your life. Fight it like you fight Satan. Obedience. Like I said earlier on, let me say it again as we seek to conclude. No amount of prayer. Please listen to me, beloved people of God. No amount of fasting, no amount of spiritual activity will ever replace or substitute obedience. You can't fast as a replacement for obedience. You can't pray as a replacement for actions of obedience, except if the prayer itself is the instruction desired. Are we together? Yeah. Oh God, you have commanded that I give. You spoke to me that the seed that will bring me to the next level is this. But Lord, I'm not interested in sowing, but can I pray for five hours to replace that? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Good master, what must I do to be saved? Most people do not inquire of the Lord again. What is the action step that represents the bridge between this level and the next? I sat down when I heard pastor say that he came into this city with 20 naira. Even those who came with 1 million are still suffering. They can't tell where it went to. It is risky to walk alone. What made a man who came into a city with 20 naira? Now look what God is doing in and through his life. He's lucky, you will say. The commentator's ignorance. Until you find out the forces that were engaged with understanding. The times of prayer. Listen, when you listen to the stories of people, don't find what to laugh about. Find the at the points of action the points of obedience what connected pain to glory how did god turn your mourning to dancing your sorrow to joy what happened jabez i know your mother cost you you came as a result of she, she cost you because of sorrow how did you become more honorable than your brethren Jabez will tell you one day, number one, I got dissatisfied. I knew that there had to be more, that nobody is a biological mistake. And then I prayed and I said, oh God, that thou wouldest bless me. There are certain people, for instance, the reason why witchcraft continues to reign in your family is because you've not made prayer investment that makes the realm of the spirit know you are serious. You are still waiting and 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 allowing darkness to reign no matter how mad a man is he never enters fire by mistake as mad as he is he can 
push your door by mistake but when he sees fire he has enough sense to know that this is fire and it hurts even in his madness there is that space for sanity he makes his ministers wings his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire there is a way you can get up and say i make it as a project I will take advantage of all the weapons of victory, the blood, the name, the word, and once and for all, put an end to this pattern of tragedy. You can start every night, one hour, 12 on the dot. Shakatos katia. Mambra katos ketebela katos ya. The realm of the spirit will think you are playing. One month, you are still at it. You are like that woman in Luke 18. Avenge me my adversary. The one who destroyed my great grandfather. The one who took away the blessings of the land. The Bible says that George did not fear God nor regard man. But that defenseless widow knowing how to come to him repeatedly because of her importunity. Here was his testimony that though I do not fear God or regard man, this woman will weary me by her continuous coming. Lord, I have come again. Shalakatos kadiaba. It is me again, your son and your daughter. Ministry must work in Abuja. Zantoske Prandagata. Lord, I'm tired of jealousy and envy. Believing that other people were just lucky. I take responsibility and declare that the narrative over this work you have given me must change. Every land, like my pastor told me, is a good land. The riches of this land, you must find me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There are very difficult places to go in this city. But not when you order a product and pay for it. When you order a product and pay for it, even if you are in the cave, the delivery man will find you because there was an instruction. They will find you until it gets to you. What order did you place in the realm of the spirit? And why are you complaining that nothing has come? It is not where you are. In the name of Jesus, I call for destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the riches of the earth and you are praying with understanding. Let me tell you the truth. There are many people who are givers, but they only obey God. They've not come to you because no instruction has been given to them about you. But it is within their power to release without restraint. Your assignment is to negotiate in the realm of the spirit with the father of spirits. And let him do the speaking to them. And they will come rushing like pastor said. I hope you are learning something tonight. You want to live an undeniable life, a life of evidence. Take away ignorance. Stop clapping that you have 35 simply because you are in the presence of people who have 30 and 20. All of you is still, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not insulting you, but I'm just speaking apostolically. 35 is still F. 39 is still F. 40 is E. E is barely passed. You won't go forward. There are those who have a B and in their world, B is F. They are still pressing. They have a B.O. And there are those who have an A. But the A, they are not satisfied with 75. What, what of the remaining 25? You will see them at score 80 in the realm of the spirit. And they are still moving with the hunger of a student who has F. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less because we know there's more that's found in you prophesy to yourself and we will never settle for less we know Listen, I will tell you this. One of the things I love about Reverend Godwin, 
honestly and i'm not saying it because i'm on his stage is his hunger and his passion for things i have seen his response to the word of god and i stand by the god of heaven to tell you if you are connected to this vision and you've not drawn out of that spirit of hunger you are missing a lot i have seen his passion i made up my mind i am as a principle I don't flatter myself. I don't over pamper myself. If God has done something, Father, thank you. You pat yourself at the back. That's all right. Next walk on ground. What don't I know? Because there are still virgin lands. Don't allow people clap you into mediocrity. And you remain there doing small things. And celebrating yourself just because you are surrounded by people who are not seen far. Stretch and challenge yourself. There is more. You prayed for 30 people and only two God healed. Thank you, Father, because I remain thankful. But Lord, why didn't 28? What happened? The Bible says handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the bodies of the apostle. Is that realm not attainable again? Lord, I return back to the altar. And you pray like you have never handled the healing anointing. And God says, I see your hunger and I see your fire. Let's measure a thousand cubits for you again. You are ready to dive deeper. Listen, let me tell you this. For someone, I came here to cast out this arrival mentality from you. Arrival mentality. Small things, small things small things respectfully speaking and i say this with every sense of honor if you're a man of god here let me challenge you by the spirit all of us together there there are there the journey is still very far please do not ever find yourself in any kind of flattery whatsoever thank god for that which we have seen but compared to the master's expectation, we are only one step out of the cave. We have to be honest and stay. Pray like never before. Fast like never before. Get not from a competitive standpoint. Lord, I am enlarging my spiritual capacity until you give me the keys of nations. Don't be too quick to clap for yourself and celebrate yourself and say, I am better than this businessman, better than this. They comparing themselves with themselves, he says, are not wise. Are we together? You're a music minister. Don't sing and keep listening to yourself from morning till night. Just enjoying what you are doing. Is that the best? Challenge yourself. There can be more. There can be more. This is what I tell myself all the time. There can be more. Those who really re arrive are those who never intend to arrive. Those who really arrive are those who never intend to arrive. They don't even know when they've crossed the finish line because they are still moving. You mean I'm done? No, no, this can't be it. Hallelujah. Oh, apostle, but I'm a billionaire. I just made my first two billion. How much have you given the kingdom without it affecting you? If you still can give something and lack sleep, you are not yet wealthy enough. Keep pressing. Until you can get up and God can give you a list of 20 ministries. And you can bless them and still go back secured because you are not broke after giving. You've, you are not yet there. Don't say I have a house, I have some estates, I have a few cars. Thank God for that. We salute your diligence so far. But the king's business still requires more. Are we together? Oh man of God, I preached a wonderful message. And you can imagine how many people liked me. How many other people need to hear, need to be changed? Hallelujah. For as long as there is one person close to you who has not experienced the reality and the fullness of the life of God, take it as a challenge and keep pressing. I have prayed for people. I have seen people healed. But sadly, I have seen others who are not healed. That becomes my assignment. Thank God for those who were healed. 
I have prophesied to people and I've watched it turn their lives around. But I've seen a few who are still in waiting. Why is that so? I take responsibility for it and begin to press. Listen, this is the attitude of a winner. Our time is gone, but we're going to take five minutes. I don't know how you are going to cry to God. There has to be that holy anger in your spirit. Father, my life is not yet notable. Uh -uh. I, I confess that it is not yet, it is not yet beyond, it's not yet uh, um, undeniable. It, I, it, 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 there's, there's still doubt as to whether you are the one helping me or not. There is still doubt whether I was genuinely called or not. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Please pray. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. What a life. It's a new season for you. But contend in the place of prayer. On common results. On common dimensions. Lord, we step into virgin dimensions in the spirit of grace, of wisdom. Someone is praying. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your family. Pray over the mantle upon your life. Lord, this cannot be it. I stretch. I stretch. I stretch. I stretch. I stretch. I stretch. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Please don't be distracted. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13. Philippians 3 and verse 13. Please give it to us. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. Yesterday's trophy, yesterday's result, Lord, I thank you for it. I thank you, but I know there is still more. It says, I reach forth to those things which are before. Is someone ready to pray? You are a prophet. Have the nations heard your voice? We are still in confusion even though you are there. Don't say I have arrived. Go ahead and pray. You are an apostle. There are nations that are still in darkness. You are a pastor. You are a teacher. There is still error around. Pray. We all have not arrived. We must pray. Greater grace will come. King 
kingdom financier there are greater levels virgin dimensions businessman there are greater levels virgin dimensions Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job chapter 28. We are praying. Please don't be tired. Something is shifting in your life. From verse 7. Take me to the place. The place you are. The secret place. That's where I want to be. Will you take me to the place, the place you are, that secret place, that's where I want to be, that's where I want to be. Job 28 from verse 7, we are still praying, there is a path which no fowl knoweth and which the vulture's eye has not seen next verse the lion's whelps even though he's a warrior it has not gotten there nor the fierce lion passed there lord where is that part where champions have not yet gotten to that these birds although they have an advantage of height they've not been able to see that realm the lion that does not fear any dimension what heed that realm that he has not gotten there that is your next prayer point lord take me to that realm take me to that realm in ministry take me to that realm politically that realm of wonder that realm of grace someone is praying that realm of grace please pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we will rise in your name I don't know you reign on high. We will rise in your name. I don't know. You reign on high. Hallelujah. Please do not miss the other sessions. I just have one minute to speak over your life tonight. I'm 
I'm seeing like 10, the number 10. And there are 10 people that God is calling you. Listen, God is telling you that many destinies are depending on you. Not just your family people, but many destinies. And the anointing of the Spirit is going to come upon you. Please, if I can have those people here just for one minute, we may not have all that time. Father, I am praying. I stretch my hands. Help them. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just, just do me a favor and help to bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now. I don't know where these people are, but Father, the mantle for their destiny. In the name of Jesus, please don't just come out. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't come out at random. The power of God himself will bring you, please. You don't come out at random. The power of God will bring you. Please bring them. As the power of God comes on them, please pick them and bring them. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my you hands right now. Don't come out at random. Walk them back. Walk them back. Please bring them out. Shalalamat sada balagata baranda gadega sodobos. Skale brande gebaroskia. It's a new season. Something is coming upon you. Shanina sala baranda zalakosia tali katos. Embra kato zatia la haskada baladosiata. Enkrete geberete gete balakatoskia tabatia. There are some of you right now. God is trusting you with graces the new wine god is saying the old wine is finished hear me help them please the old wine bring them out the old wine is finished god is saying you need a new wine skin because there is a new wine that i want to pour upon you in ministry in business the old wine skin don't celebrate the glory of yesterday yesterday is gone there is a new wine coming upon you but you need a new wine skin. Ah, shalaza ni kapare katoshiata. Legate brende ke pakatos koto brende geta. Imbreti ke pele katos kaside getea. The Lord is showing me one person. You are into the prophetic ministry. I'm seeing the hand of the Lord come upon you right now. The Lord is saying there is a dealing. Help that woman that he needs to begin to start with you because the nations are waiting. The nations are waiting. The nations are waiting. I declare by the Spirit, please help her. Sir, is this man a man of God? Are you a pastor? What do you do? Do you do politics? Very much. Politics. Very much. Very much in politics. Yes, sir. I'm, a, I'm a politician. Yeah, he's a member. I want to pray for you. There is wisdom that God, no, 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 I'm not going to lay hands on you. There is wisdom that God is bringing upon you. It's one thing to help many, but God will have to use others to help you. I stretch my hands. May that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. That you have helped many, God will use many to help you. I stretch my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman. I'm seeing you in a vision. You were backing a baby. The hand of God is coming upon you. You are a deliverer. Even over your family. In the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God. I decree and declare. I don't know where that person is. But may that fire that comes from heaven, please help this man. I declare, may that fire rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus, for you will never be the same. You will never be the same. We're about rounding up. I'm hearing in my spirit restoration. There are people who have lost particularly money. 
you've lost whether in business you've lost money in some kind of venture listen let me tell you the, the name of the lord is a strong tower the bible says the righteous run it to it and they are saved can i prophesy over you in the name of jesus everyone here anything that has left you that should not have gone i stand by the god of heaven and in partnership with the grace and the mantle upon god's servant here i declare in the name of jesus receive restoration receive restoration under a certain condition everything that leaves you can return but until and unless that condition is put in place in the name of jesus i decree and declare again receive restoration receive restoration in the name of jesus christ please help someone who is going to shout loud at the back i just saw light i would always see this Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called. hallelujah one last person is there someone here in the judiciary the judiciary you are a i don't know whether you're a, a, a legal practitioner i just the lord just showed me something about someone that has to do with a judiciary please help them mighty god i don't know where that person is but in the name of Jesus, I am praying for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 You are in the judiciary, madam? Yes. Sir. Do you believe God is able to lift? Yes. Sir. You, you too, mama? Practitioner. Legal practitioner. Can I pray for you? Father, I stretch my hands over these precious people here at this assembly and also this man you are the one who is able to lift men i decree and declare by this mantle and this grace in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may my god lift you step into a new season now help that woman please in the name of jesus i decree madam there is such a grace that is coming on you this woman the first woman who came out i'm seeing you climb a ladder in the realm of the spirit and the lord is saying he's lifting you i declare this i stretch my hands towards you that fire that will make for your lifting let it rest upon you all of you who have come out as touching legal professions in the name of jesus christ any embargo of witchcraft keeping you down i curse it right now i release you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead go and excel go and excel go and excel go and excel above and beyond divination above and beyond enchantment go and excel i extend that prayer to everyone here if there is anything that has held you down so that you are at the same position year in year out Help them, please. Yeah, 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 I yeah. call on my God. Makatos kate makata. Embrace it. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I declare a prophetic jubilee. A prophetic jubilee. Everything tying you down. Please help them. Everything holding you down. I declare a prophetic jubilee now. Here at this conference, undeniable release from curses, undeniable release from spells, from enchantments, in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them at the back there, my God, so they don't enjoy themselves. Please pray one minute. I declare my release. I declare my release. It's time to go forward. Someone is declaring. 
I release you, I release you in the name of Jesus. Every power that says you will not rise, that says you will not move forward, that says Abuja or your environment will be hostile, I come against it by the blood. In the name of Jesus. And for all those who are out here, I declare by the Spirit of God that everything that is related to yokes, please help them, my God. Everything that is not of God, for all those who have come, every yoke, every spell, every enchantment, right now at the count of three, it lets you go now and forever. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go out of their lives in the name of Jesus, out of their destinies. The Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I prophesy liberty in Jesus' name. I pray, in Jesus' name, I pray. Please listen to me. If you are here in this place god bless you those in front those who can please let them just gently return back you are in this place please spare me a minute you came for this conference you are outside you are inside up the balcony or watching no matter where you are watching from and you are saying apostle as i heard you teach i'm realizing right now that i have heard the gospel many times but I've not taken that step of obedience to genuinely make Jesus Lord of my life. Or you might be saying, I, I remember coming across in genuine repentance, but as it is now, my life has gone haywire. I need rededication fast. We have just one minute for you. Whether you are up the balcony or down, please don't wait for anyone to be the first. You arrive here before them. I'm going to count one to three. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before Jesus here as we appreciate them. One, are you coming? Let's honor them as they come. Run to Jesus. Swallow your pride. Run to Jesus. A new beginning, oh God. Don't enjoy anyone. Please take it easy. Take it easy. Run to Jesus. While you are standing here, don't look at me. Cry before the Lord. Show me mercy, oh God. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. Keep coming. I'm the one. You have shown mercy. You have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. Sing, I'm the one. Say, You have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Listen. No, that's a demonic thing. Let him go now. Out! Now! In the name of Jesus. Please look at me, those of you in front. Thank you so much for making this bold decision. Look at me. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. This is not some jamboree in church. This is a genuine decision that will turn the course of your life around. That you will forget that here at Word Alive, you had an encounter with Jesus. Indeed, it will be undeniable. May I request in one minute that you lift your hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. And for anyone who may be watching from across the globe by way of television or by way of the internet, the Lord Jesus is speaking to you. Here is your chance to make it right with Jesus. He said, ye must be born again. For if our hope is only in this world, the Bible declares that we are all most miserable. Please lift your right hand. I want you to say it this loud and clear. You are not reciting a poem. 
this is a confession of faith that will translate to the administration of the life of God in your spirit say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe with my heart that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive you into my heart as my Lord as my Savior and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god i am a recipient of eternal life i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name keep your hands lifted father we thank you for this ones in the name of jesus you have brought them by your spirit and lord you have granted them the privilege of being partakers of your life through the new birth experience i commend you to the word of god and to the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness in the name of jesus as for you you will only go from glory to glory and from grace to grace in jesus name i pray amen and amen any instructions for them okay please okay all of you who are here may i please request that you follow the counselors waving their hands let's honor them as they go they'll have a word with you very quickly please keep clapping until they go god bless you god bless you god bless you now let me lend my voice with pastor and encourage you I understand that if I'm right, there are two sessions or at least two sessions with me here. We are here tomorrow in the morning again. Am I right, sir? Yes, sir. Tomorrow in the morning and on then morning. on Sunday morning again. Please, tomorrow at uh, the morning session, make sure that you do not come alone. You see what God is doing. For some of you, whilst you're watching, the Holy Spirit is telling you there is so, so, so and so who needs to be here for their life to be transformed. Do the work of an evangelist and bring them even if inside is filled i'm sure that there will be other provisions and then please make it even if it is a sacrifice you have to make for the sunday service so that god can give you the balance of what he started the bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof but as for tonight the lord bless you in the name of jesus christ amen and amen